I'm working with y'all talking about creating a site here. I'm doing this on the fly here. I have worked with this a few times. What we are here, you can have, I'm logged in, I'm using the free sites here. I wanna add a new site. And I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose something that I like. I can always change things. That is the beauty of this. So I'm gonna click inside here, use this template, and I'm gonna call it Hotel Allen. Continue. I'll put this contact information. There is a contact page. They need this stuff. Let's do this later. Or you will be doing it later. So this is the Hotel Allen. You've got text and other things in here. What I'm going to do here, if I want to edit this page here, it says Farm Fresh Quality here. And I'm just going to go highlight. It's just like using a word processor. Um, we have 22 rooms or 200 rooms for your pleasure. So we have that Hotel Allen. I could click inside here, put a space, and we could say over 20 people pleased with us. I could put this on all pages. Check that off. So I have that. I could change fonts here eventually, or uh, I'll just say save. If I want to change fonts here, we've got a bunch of things here with these widgets here. These widgets allow you to do a lot of things, okay? And I clicked inside onto the style designer here, and I have that. I can make it light. I can make it dark. Let's say we want the light. That is for the highlighting of text here. Background, black, gray. Try to be decisive. And I say, save. I can put this on all pages. Want to be consistent, say yes. So I have that in there. Now I just scroll down a little bit here. The, we have a bunch of stuff here that I really don't want. See the X's here? Click on that. I'm in the style designer here. I don't want it. Uh, presets here. I'm going to go to basic here, where I was before. I could put things here. Watch this. Scroll up here. Hotel Allen. And where it says bottom, top, rearranges things here. I did that before. I could change the font here. Let's say I want another font here it changes it throughout the site or on that one page. So we've got that in here. Now if I don't want these things here, I click here. Not going away at this point here. Edit, margin. When I click on it, it just doesn't delete everything. But I don't like that style. Let's say I want to change the theme. I click on style. Close that out. Actually, I'm going to say yes, save this here. I don't want to really save it. I don't like this at all. But I'm going through the basics here. I would always say try to be decisive in the beginning. And let's say we like this page here. I want to add a new page here. I click on page. Do you see the plus here? I click here and let's call this room rates. Display and navigation always. So I've got that the room rates here. And I have these little things here. I can edit. I click inside edit here. That is just a border. I'm going to save that. I click on edit. And that's another border. Save. And if I click inside here. I can go in here and type something single did you see how it just went to this thing here I want to keep the same style here I hold down the shift and the enter so okay. we've got that done so these are just lines here, 
and you're always going to get that remove your head branding here you have to upgrade okay I'm gonna close this out tells you what you get how much it costs a month just to get rid of an ad you do get the advertising and if I click on that X here I don't want to delete that widget I'm gonna say cancel I click on this X here I delete that widget the widget is aligned so we've got home room rates where to buy and I'm gonna just say yes and then you say where to buy I want to because this is a preset with links here and if I go into here I could just say make reservations and if I should spell it right reservations would you like to save it yes so you got reservations there and it shows a map here it makes things up here and I could just say Hotel Allen and I could just say 35 Park Avenue New York New York I don't know if it's going to fix the map or not I've never done this before it might do this after you uh, publish the site here so you've got that there and I click on this X here I want to delete that widget click, click here okay by using these widgets it does make things a lot easier got rid of that I'm customizing a template that can be a little difficult uh, I'm going to say yes if I want to get rid of that banner here I could say edit I'm going to say select image what I'm going to do I have to upload a file I click on upload a file and let's just pretend this is my hotel this is actually the Mohonk Hotel and then I have that close that out we've got that in there now if I want to change the color of the font I'm in here I click on fonts colors basic and what I would do here right click does not work but you see in the whole thing here they do say do a website in five minutes yes if you're just doing something with a name address phone number and an email address I would have to fix this later on so I'm going to cl close this out here I want to save the changes so we've got that kind of ugly with a capital U and what I want to do here I want to do a new page here I'm going to go onto page click on the plus and I'm gonna I always like the about us or whatever I'm gonna call this about us save I've got a new page here with about us here what I can do I can add a graphic in here even a YouTube video I am going on the widgets here so these are the widgets here I'm on widgets I go over to the right here YouTube I drag this here right there now if I want to put in I could do a search here and I'm just going to type in cat video it will do this I say search videos I'm just going to use that shave I've got a video in here which will be here it has nothing to do with the hotel so that is done what I'm going to do this is a very cool feature here you want to work with columns you can put a picture on one side so I'm in here with the widgets here I scroll to the left and I'm gonna click on columns and then I drag it into here columns right there there we go two columns I click now when I do this I just hold this down go into that bracket there I got the video there and if I want to put text in here I would add a text thing 
and we accommodate kitties of all shapes and sizes. So we have that there. And if I don't want this, I hit the X there. Okay. If I don't want this one here, uh, I just click on the X here, delete it. So we're getting a lot of things done here. If I want to put a line below, I click on the line, drag it down to here, and I could make it thicker. I could type in numbers. So you say it shows another color here. It's like a blue or whatever. You could look this up and you can go into styles. This, this, checked here. Solid. I can make it really thick. So I've got this nice, lovely line here. Uh, they have all these upgrade features here. I say publish. So if I click on this here, I want to use this one here, the free domain. And what I'm going to do is call it Hotel Allen. I click inside the box here. It's not case sensitive. I say next. So it's going to be my domain at yolosites.com. So it's publishing the site. Takes a moment. And if I hold there, I watch this. I go into here. I'm going to do an incognito window. I'm in. Um, go here. So we have this here. Room rates. Hit the back button. Where to buy. We'd have to fix that font eventually here. And this map is way off. I'd have to fix that map at a later time. I hit the back button here. Uh, about us. And then you had that cute little cat. The room rates. The about us. The home page. So we've essentially got the site here. I have to get rid of this bupkis down here. A lot of this will be discussed in the classes that I'm teaching.